So I talked about binary search, but we're actually going to trace the code now. So I talked about low and high changing values. What we're gonna do is add in a print statement at the beginning of the loop, just like I mentioned right there. So we'll see low and high before they change. So the first time through, low is gonna be zero, high is gonna be, I think our deck has 39 in it. And then we'll see the numbers coming together. All right, so we're gonna do binary search instead of regular search. There we go. I think the rest of this should work just fine. Um, I also don't think we need to print the whole deck out. We know what's in there. So we're gonna skip that print. Here we go. All right. So we can ignore this stuff right here. So it starts at zero and 38. Remember there's 39 cards, but 38 is the last card. So we're looking for what card? Oh no. What card are we looking for? New card, let's south that. Oh, never mind, that is there. We're looking for the Ace of Clubs. Okay. Oh, I forget the order of the deck. Where is it? Clubs, all right. So that is the first suit right there, the zero suit. So it should be near the beginning. All right, so what's happening? We start with low at zero, high at 38. So it didn't find it. Now, secretly, we know the card's not in there because there's no clubs in there. But if it is in there, it should be near the beginning of the deck. So it cut the deck in half. And so now we're looking from zero to 18, which is half. You add those two together, cut it in half, you get 18. So looking from zero to 18, it's not in there, or it's not in the middle, which would be a position nine. So average those two, you get nine. So it's not at position nine. So then low would be nine plus one. No, high would be nine minus one, which is eight. And that's what you see right here. So zero to eight, average that. You have four, so it's gonna look in position four. And it's not at position four, but again, our card is in the first half, this is the second half. Our card is in the first half, so we're gonna change uh, high to be four minus one. That's where you see the zero, three. All right, average zero and three, and what do you get? You might say 1.5, but remember, if you cut three in half, you don't get a decimal, you get an integer. So, and it always is gonna do what's called truncating or rounding it down. So it should be 1.5. Uh, but it rounds it down to one. So it's searching zero to one, doesn't find it. And so again, high uh, becomes mid minus one, which is zero, zero. It will go one more time and look at position zero and it's not there. So return negative one. All right, let's do the same thing, but let's go and make suit three. So this will be not all the way at the end because it's an ace. Uh, well, let's, let's make it seven. So it'd be a seven of whatever three is. Three is spades, okay. So start zero to 38, and we know it's in the later part of the deck. So right here you see uh, 38 divided in half is 19. So it's gonna look in the back half of the deck. It doesn't start at 19, it starts at 19 plus one. Averages those two together. Now the math gets hard. Is that 68 cut in half is something, 34. Um, is that right, 34? Why is it starting at 30? Anyways, it looks at the back half of this deck and so it goes from 30 to 38. Um, now you can see that the 30 doesn't change, the 38 changes. So in this interval from card 30 to 38, the middle card is too big, so it's looking at the first half. So instead of going 30 to 38, it goes 30 to 33. So it's cutting this in half and taking the first half. And then last up, cuts that in half again, and looking for seven of spades, and it's position 32. Now, of course, now I wanna see what, 
Seven of spades actually is. Seven of spades is position 32. Look at that, 32. All right, let's search for another card. Let's get crazy. Do 12, so that'll be queen of spades maybe. Queen of spades, position 37. All right, so it's nearly a last card, so zero to 38, and you see that it keeps changing the small number, the low value, to get closer to the high value, and eventually you find it. All right, we'll do one more of these. We'll go, we'll pick a middle card. Uh, let's go a five of whatever the second suit is, five of hearts, okay. Five of hearts is at position 17, which is a middle position somewhere. Right there, five of hearts. All right, if you want a better visual of this, trying to squeeze it all on the screen, the font is gonna get very small. So there's our uh, one, there we go. There's all of our cards. I feel like that zero, oh, the zero is the index value. That's why it's okay to be zero. Anyways, so went right to the middle and then you can see it right there. It's in the first half, but barely, because it's at position 17. So it just keeps cutting in half, cutting in half, cutting in half. Okay, so that's tracing. And we're going to take that print out so it doesn't keep printing them every time. And then we'll be ready to uh, do some more with this code for the lab.